All right, so TikTok automation. Huh. Building a whole business around it. That's the dream. Right. Well, that's what everyone on YouTube's saying, right? Yeah, exactly. Everyone and their dog's got a course or a video claiming they've got the secrets, but how much is hype? Right. How much is real? That's what we're going to figure out today. Yeah. Let's dive in and see what's actually involved. Exactly, because it's 2024, AI's everywhere, and everyone's after that passive income. Totally get it. Who wouldn't want to make money in their sleep? Right, but got to be realistic too, right? Oh, absolutely. Got to have a solid plan. So first things first, a lot of these YouTubers are all about the TikTok creativity program. Yeah, the so-called golden ticket. Yeah, they make it sound amazing pay you based on views some claiming like a dollar even more per thousand views crazy right but there are some requirements too like you need at least ten thousand followers mm -hmm. at least a hundred thousand views in the past month and gotta be over 18. makes sense gotta have some kind of audience already definitely but even then it's not always smooth sailing oh yeah what do you mean well a couple sources we saw their earnings were all over the place really even if their content was good. Even with viral stuff. Yeah. And another one got banned for reusing content. Wait, seriously. But some people said that's allowed. It's confusing, right? TikTok's rules, they change all the time. So even with automation, you can't just set it and forget it. Nope. Gotta stay informed. Keep up with the changes. Interesting. Now, what about this whole buy-in U.S. TikTok accounts thing? Ah, yeah. Seen that one floating around. Yeah, like to get around restrictions or instant monetization. Seems kind of shady. As a tactic, some are using sites like Aina.com. They sell accounts. Wow, really? But isn't that risky? Definitely proceed with caution territory. Ethically, it's a bit iffy, and TikTok could shut you down in a heartbeat. True. Lose your investment just like that. Yep. Shortcuts aren't always the best route. Speaking of best routes, one YouTuber we watched talked about diversifying income. Smart move. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> yeah, he was all about super affiliates. Called them the emperors of digital marketing. <laughs> Interesting analogy. Right. He was like, if you want to be an emperor, head over to BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I, right? Yep. Brian with an I. He's got this free guide. 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. Sounds promising. Yeah, he said, just your name and email, that's it. Easy enough, we'll have to check that out. For sure. <laughs> okay, back to TikTok. So many sources are raving about this tool called Cohesive. Cohesive, Co Cohesive. So, yeah, heard of that one. They're saying it's incredible for generating scripts and captions. AI is definitely changing the game when it comes to content creation. Right, you basically tell it what you want, like motivational quotes or life hacks. And bam content ready to go sounds almost too good to be true well the output's only as good as the input you know you still got to bring your a game the creativity the strategy right so it's not about replacing us more like giving us superpowers exactly think of it as your ai sidekick love that and some people are taking it even further with this site called did.com did.com what's that one do they use ai avatars to actually read the scripts like a virtual spokesperson Whoa, that's pretty cool. Right. You get all the engagement and none of the camera well, shyness. it opens up a lot of possibilities, especially for folks who hate being on camera. For sure. And speaking of possibilities, finding your niche seems super important. Oh, absolutely. That's the foundation of everything. Everyone's saying do that productive scrolling on TikTok, see what's working. Mm -hmm, see what's popping. Exactly. Apparently, motivational content, cute animals, those Reddit story videos, all popular, but you got to pick something you actually enjoy. Yeah, makes sense. Keep it fun and engaging. <laughs> exactly. Even if it's faceless, got to have that passion. Right. So you found your niche. Now what? What's the next step? Time to get strategic. Look at your competitors. What are they doing? Stock in the competition, huh? Exactly. See what's working for them. What's getting views. There's this Chrome extension, TikTok and Instagram sorter. Let's you sort videos by views. Wow. So you can see what's really resonating. Yep. Learn from the best, but don't just copy, right? Put your own spin on it. Right. Got to be original. And remember, it's not all about ad revenue either. Oh, yeah. Affiliate marketing is huge. Yeah. Promote products you like. Get a commission on sales. Sites like ClickBank and Digistore24. Lots of options there. So find something relevant to your niche, something people will actually buy. Exactly. Build that trust. Provide real value. And then there's Linktree, right? Put all your affiliate links there, nice and organized. Yep, put that link in your bio, clear call to action. Make it easy for people to support you. Exactly, so you're not just stuck on TikTok, you're building a whole ecosystem. That's a great point. So we've got the creativity program, AI tools, niche selection, and even affiliate marketing. Sounds like a good start, but we're just getting warmed up. Right, we've got so much more to unpack, so buckle up. 
and get ready to dive deeper. Let's do it. All right, welcome back. So we talked about the basics, but let's get into the nitty gritty. Yeah, let's see how people are actually making this TikTok automation thing work. Perfect. One creator, Alex Christian, documented his whole 30-day journey with the creativity program. Oh yeah, I remember him. His videos were super helpful. He was all about finding a faceless niche, right? Exactly. And he went with like a pet showcase kind of thing, focusing on cute animals. Clever, because everyone loves cute animals, right? Right. And he used ChatGPT for the scripts and Eleven Labs for voiceovers. Pretty standard combo these days. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that. But how'd he do? Did he make bank? Well, he hit the requirements for the program pretty quick, but his earnings, they were all over the place. Really? So even with a good niche, it's not a guarantee. Seems like it. He even said he made like $4 on his first day in the program. $4. Seriously. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah, it shows even if you do everything right, there's no guarantee of consistent income, especially at the start. Makes sense. It's like any business takes time to build up, right? Exactly. And that's why diversifying is so important, remember. Another creator, Financial Wolf, he had a similar experience. Oh, yeah. What was his niche? He was posting podcast clips, but here's the kicker. He bought followers to hit that 10,000 mark faster. Whoa, wait a minute. You can buy followers? Is that allowed? It's a gray area, not explicitly banned, but risky for sure. TikTok could penalize you if they catch on. Yeah, sounds kind of sketchy. So what happened to him? Well, he did get multiple strikes for reposting content, even after getting monetized. See, that's what I mean. You got to play by the rules, even with automation. Original content is key, right? Absolutely. Quality content, consistency, that's the recipe for success. And Financial Wolf. Did he diversify? He did. Set up an affiliate website, promoting those investment platforms, Robinhood, Coinbase, you know. Smart move. So he's got a backup plan in case TikTok goes south. Exactly. Multiple income streams. That's the way to go. So we talked about some challenges, but what about the folks crushing it? What are they doing different? Yeah, let's get inspired. Well, one thing they all do, they're obsessed with quality, engaging content, you know. So it's not just about churning out AI-generated stuff. Got to have that human touch. Exactly. One source we looked at, they talked about tapping into emotions. Emotions? Like, what do you mean? Like starting your videos with something like, do you ever feel lost in life? Immediately grab attention, make people feel seen. Wow, that's powerful. It's like a hook, but for feelings. Exactly. Create that connection, then keep them engaged with visuals, fast edits, storytelling. So it's like making mini movies, even with AI content. Right. One creator even used ChatGPT to generate an image for every line of the script. Whoa, that's next level. Like each line's a mini scene, super dynamic. It's amazing what people are doing with AI these days. So it's not just about the tech. It's about how you use it to tell a story, connect with people. Exactly. But here's the thing. If it's so easy, why isn't everyone rich? Yeah, that's the million dollar question. It's like any business. It takes more than just tools and tactics. Got to understand the market, be adaptable. All right, got to be a problem solver. Think outside the box. Stay ahead of the curve. Exactly. Speaking of staying ahead of the curve, this guy, Max Sakshunas, he dropped some serious knowledge. Oh, yeah. What did he say? He's all about niche selection, optimizing content, and he had this workaround for creators outside the U.S. Wait, really? Like to get into the Creator Rewards program? Yep. The U.S. TikTok account strategy. Remember we talked about that? Right. Buying those accounts. Kind of risky, though. Definitely. Especially if TikTok gets banned in the U.S. He thinks it'll happen. He said it won't be for a while, so there's time to capitalize. Even suggested getting a U.S. SIM card, just in case. Wow, he's committed. So what else did he say? He laid out a six-step strategy, starting with branding your account. Like what? A logo and stuff? Not quite. More like a catchy username. You can use sites like nam.com for that and then create a cool profile pic with AI. Oh, I get it. You gotta stand out, even if you're faceless. Exactly. And then, the most important step, pick in the right niche. Did he say what niches are hot right now? He did. Science and curiosity, wisdom, interesting facts, and history. He said those are killing it. Interesting. Those do sound kind of perfect for AI. Lots of content to work with. Right. Easy to generate with AI, but still interesting and valuable to viewers. So it's like the trifecta, good for the algorithm, good for the audience, and good for the creator. Exactly. And then he went deep on crafting viral scripts using competitor analysis and AI tools like Claude.ai. So it's a mix of data and creativity. Kind of cool. Right. He even shared this trick, extracting scripts from competitors' videos with a Chrome extension. Whoa, that's like straight up espionage. Got to use all the tools you got, right? Knowledge is power. So beyond the creator rewards, Max was all about affiliate marketing. 
using Digistore 24 to find high paying products. Any specific types of products? He's big on supplements. Apparently they're selling like hotcakes on TikTok. Makes sense. Everyone's into health and wellness these days. And he recommends Linktree, like we talked about, to create a landing page. Put that in your bio with a clear call to action. So it's all about making it easy for people to buy, right? Yep. Seamless experience from content to conversion. Love it. But here's what got me. He mentioned a brand new way to monetize faceless TikToks with AI, but he didn't say what it was. Oh, really? That's got to be frustrating. Total cliffhanger. Now I'm dying to know. Maybe that's a topic for a future deep dive. For now, let's zoom out. Think about what we've learned. Yeah, it's crazy how people are using the same tools, but having such different results. Some build an empire as others barely scraping by. It's a reminder. There's no magic button. Got to put in the work, be dedicated, always be learning. It's not just about the tech. It's about understanding people, the platform, the whole game. Exactly. And never forget, diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Find what works best for you. Build that solid foundation. Speaking of foundations, remember that free guide at BrianGarvin.com, Brian with an I. The super affiliate one, right? Yep. 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. Tons of valuable info. Could be a game changer. Definitely worth checking out. Links in his YouTube bio. It feels like we're just scratching the surface of TikTok automation. So much to explore. We've covered a lot, but there's always more to learn. Stay tuned for the final segment. We've got even more insights coming up. All right, so we've talked about a lot when it comes to this whole TikTok automation thing. Yeah, we've gone deep. AI, niches, making money, the whole nine yards. Right. But as we wrap this up, I kind of want to step back. What are the big takeaways here? Good point. Got to distill it down, right? Make it actionable. Exactly. For me, it's that AI, it's powerful, but it's not a magic solution. Totally agree. It's a tool, not the whole toolbox. You know? Right. You still got to be creative, think strategically, know your audience. It's about using AI to make things better, not just replacing everything. Augmenting, right. Yeah. Like giving us superpowers. Love that. And yeah, we saw that just using the same tools doesn't guarantee success. It's about how you use them, right? Your approach, your niche. Exactly. And being willing to adapt, try new things, not be afraid to experiment. Oh, and something else that kept coming up, diversification. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, huge GE. Can't just rely on the creativity program. Got to have other income streams. Like Alex Christian, Financial Wolf, their earnings were up and down. That's risky. Definitely. Affiliate marketing, digital products driving traffic elsewhere, got to spread those bets. Spread the risk, maximize your potential. That's the smart play. Absolutely. And speaking of smart plays, remember that free guide we talked about? Oh, yeah. At BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. The super affiliate one, 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. Yep. If you're serious about affiliate marketing, that's a must have. Tons of great info in there. Could really change the game for you. For sure. Check it out. The link's in his YouTube bio. Okay. But before we go, I want to leave you with this thought. Okay. Hit me with it. So we've seen how to make awesome videos with AI, but what if we zoom out? Zoom out? Like, what do you mean? What if instead of just making content, you used your niche to build something bigger? Ooh, I like where you're going with this. Like, what if you created your own product, a course, something based on your expertise? You're talking about leverage, right? Wow. Use TikTok to build an audience, then offer them something even more valuable. Exactly. They're already interested. You've got their attention. Then boom. Yeah. Premium product, consistent income. It's like going from TikTok creator to entrepreneur, building a real brand. That's powerful. Right. Think beyond the videos. TikTok becomes your launching pad. That's exciting. It is. It's about using the platform strategically, thinking long term. So there you have it. Our deep dive into TikTok automation. It's a wild world out there. It is. Lots of opportunities, but you got to be smart, strategic, and adaptable. Couldn't have said it better myself. So keep creating, keep experimenting, and never stop learning. Exactly. And if you want that extra edge, you know where to go. BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. His free guide is waiting for you. All but right. That's it for us. Until next time, keep crushing it. See